Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft experience here on the bakery server. We have done quite a bit of work. I say that often, but I mean it this time. Remember those bunnies we brought over last episode? Well, we've, uh, we've got a couple more. <laughs> you know what this means. And uh, if uh, future donuts, you can edit in the previous threat I made a couple episodes back. That would make this ever more uh, entertaining. Oh, I can't wait to eat you. I can't wait to kill you and all of your inbred family. As a side note, you may notice these guys have actually changed color. Uh, I did randomly breed them. Uh, and they have changed color. I'm gonna need to kill these guys out here because it's just not good. They, they shouldn't be out there. Have you been? Okay, good. There we are. And, uh, oh, see ya. Uh, yeah, I, I got these different colors. I have yet to get any white bunnies, though, so uh, that is unfortunate. But at least we've got these different colors. And yes, I have segregated them, which is actually a pretty awful thing to do. Unfortunately, I think you beautiful people know what comes next. If you're a big bunny fan, you might want to look away. I guess on a positive note, there are so many bunnies here that you really can't hear them scream. The sound just kind of bugs out. That literally took all night, all Minecraft night that took to kill all of those bunnies. Look at how many bunnies we have, and they are escaping somehow. I think when they're scared or something, they're able to, ooh, one of them, that's a foot. I think when they're scared, they're able to jump over these fences, which, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if that's that's the case. If it'll be an issue or not. But I don't think it will be. There we go. Awesome. I have yet to look at my inventory, so I'm not entirely sure our uh, gain from that. So let's take a look here. We have a lot of raw rabbit and a lot, a lot of that sweet, sweet leather. Look at that. We are actually going to cook up three stacks of these. That is actually not a lot of uh, rabbit, in my opinion. That's not um, not as much as I would like it to be. I think they should drop their, uh, their meat every time, and at least I think they should. Look at that. Oh, and we've got a stack and a half of their feet. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That's going to get us a lot of leaping potions. In fact, we should make a bunch of leaping potions. In fact, I will make a bunch of leaping potions. That's awesome. 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 I'm awesome. But before we get to that, I want to kind of show you guys, hey now, kind of what I've been doing, what I've been, what I've been mulling over, because I have done a lot of progress, and this is exactly what I wanted uh, this series to be. Lots of progress, little progress updates, a little stuff on camera, a little bit of everything. Look at this. Look at this. This pathway is beautiful now. It's amazing. And we went with the blue carpet here. I think we'll go blue carpet here to kind of match up there. And I also think we're going to make this yellow carpet for potatoes. It's carrots now, but we'll replace those with these uh, potatoes we got right here. So that should be really good. I'm really excited about that. Oh, and that did cost us all of our all of our food so we are going to need to get some more baked potatoes in our in our stomachs here but yeah this is that what i'm going to do now uh hopefully by the next episode is get a pathway here and i want to get something over here and i want to get something over here uh, i want the storage system uh for all of the the bunnies uh, at least i i think i want a storage system with like carrots uh, ready ready to go and I think I want just a temporary you know here is all of this stuff uh, over over there because I feel like that would be uh, beneficial to us anyway but yeah we'll get that going hopefully haven't quite decided yet but there's also something that I want to get uh, underneath there which we will get to 
Bunnies may not be the most useful resource uh, in the game, but they are probably one of my favorites. They are, they are incredibly cute and everything, but uh, they give you leather, they give you food, and they give you something for potions, which is a win-win-win in my opinion. As for this episode, however, we are going to head on over to spawn, and as you can see, we are getting some farm supplies here for what could it be, donuts? Well, as you can see, we have a lot of levels, and I really... Uh, I, I'm happy with some of the enchants I got, but we do need better armor, and I am definitely wanting to get on top of that as soon as possible. And it just so happens that Mr. Reptitiously has a very good uh, villager at his base, so we are going to head on over there as I enter puberty, and we are going to trade with them for a certain mending enchant. Also something worth mentioning, we are on the newest version of Optifine, which means, aha, uh -huh, we have that vanilla Minecraft, uh, I don't know what you call it, smooth, smart lighting or something, I don't know, realistic lighting, I wonder whatever that is, but look at this, huh? Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. That is so, so awesome that uh, that we can do that. And if you light a mob on fire, which I won't do because we're in the nether, uh, they actually follow this path, which is really awesome. I think this, like, I never really thought of, of having this in vanilla Minecraft. Like, I always thought, you know, it's just kind of a nice little touch. I don't really need it. I think I need this. I really do think I need this, which is uh, really, really cool, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, also, something I wanted to talk about is 1.10 pre-release. That's huge, isn't it? 1.10 is already out. Uh, they're, they say they are going to do smaller, more consistent updates, which is awesome because we are always getting new content, which is great. The only issue I have with it is, uh, at least here on the server, we're running Spigot, we're running Optifine, and I'm not sure how that's going to interfere with everything, so I don't know. I'm going to take it slow personally here on the server. Uh, we're just going to wait for... Um, I don't know if it's official. I'll have to talk to the guys, but I, I would like uh, a more... I don't know, smoother experience, which we have now because we have Spigot, we have Optifine, uh, and it's a much smoother experience here than it would be if we were running just regular old Minecraft 1.9. Ah, uh, and as nighttime rolls around, you may see some spoilers here. Uh, but, I mean, I guess if they haven't made a video about it already, I guess it's it's really their fault. So you have this pathway here, which I believe uh, Ninja Crafter David uh, did, if you remember the Ender Dragon episode. Uh, you may also notice that because it's a bakery server, we have a giant cake, which is the Iron Farm which I've shown you, which I think I actually kind of want to go in here and see what we've got so far. I mean, this is just insane. This is just crazy. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this iron. Look at all these poppies. Oh, that's crazy. I love it. I love it so much. We're going to need one of these in my single player world for sure. I think that's going to be our next project, actually. I just I just can't think of a way to like make it look pretty. Like They got the cake right there, which is awesome. But how are you going to do that? You know, how are you going to do that one like a floating cake? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. We will see. We'll see. Ah, uh, yes. We approach the uh, surreptitiously base. This is crazy. There was a mountain here. I saw. I went back in an older episode and there was indeed a mountain here. That's what the beacon was for. So I believe. Oh, man. Look at that carrot farm. That's really cool. Really, really cool. Okay. So, I believe somewhere in here there is a villager. Oh, this is cool too. Look at this. Look at what he's done here. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at that. I have this door in my single player world. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the design. I may have to steal that. <laughs> there should be... Oh, yes. Perfect. There is a farmer in here. Beautiful. We are going to get as many emeralds as we can. And is there a... Yes, there's a crafting table right here. There's that. We're going to get more of you. That's not a lot. He has a lot. I'm going to give you that. Okay. We've got a looting three, a silk touch, a thorns three, which is pretty cool. Another farmer. Another farmer. Ooh, rotten flesh. 
Ah, uh, yes, right here. Mending and Frostwalker and Frostwalker. We're actually going to get some of these, too. I want Mending, though, so we'll see. We'll see what we want first. All right, that is, that is everything. That is everything we can trade unless we find another farmer, which I don't think... I don't think he has another one. Oh, maybe. Cool. So we have seven, 75. That's okay. We have 75. Oh, he's got a little thing right here. That's crazy. Uh, so we have 75 emeralds to trade. Now we need, I was thinking mending, but he's got like Frostwalker and Unbreaking. I want to see how much those are. But first, I think we have... That's a really good one. 51 emeralds, ew. Um, unbreaking for 37? That's half of our emeralds. I think we might get a silk touch. We might get a looting. But I want, I, I do want Frostwalker and Mending. So we'll see what we can't get. What are you? You are, all right, Frostwalker for 10? Oh, we are getting that. We are getting that easy, boy. All right, look at that. Frostwalker, just like that. Beautiful. Frostwalker 2 again, but for 46 emeralds. That means we got a good deal. This is power and power. Where is the mending? Ooh, 34 emeralds. Ew, that's not good. Frostwalker again. Fortune. Ooh. Frostwalker 2 for 60 emeralds. What a rip. All right. Well, I guess it looks like we're going to have to spend these 34 emeralds for mending. Oh, oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to see how many. We got five. We got five emeralds. Oh, we got all these potatoes right here I forgot about. Awesome. This guy's loaded. What? How did he get all of these so fast? All right, we've got another mending book. And I think, let's see what else we would like to buy. We have 18 emeralds left, which means I think we can get... We can get, um, oh yeah, looting three or silk touch. Ooh, I think looting would be worth it. But what else do we got? We've got diamond chest plate, diamond chest plate for 16. That's not too bad. Feather falling for 29 emeralds, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really of value here. Oh, dude, this guy, like, this is, this is, it, if you watch my single player world, this is exactly what I want. This is a beautiful place with just a whole bunch of trades to farm and to get emeralds. It's amazing. I love this place. This is like my, this is my dream world right now. We are going to go with looting three because that is probably the most valuable thing that we have right now. And that is it. That is it for this place. I want to go, I want to go check out his potato farm because I feel like, I feel like that's amazing. My goodness, what a monster. I get it. I get it. Look at you, reptitiously. My goodness. Here I am, playing old casual Minecraft. This guy, this guy, man. This might be the last episode of my Minecraft experience. This guy's done it. He won. He won. He got it all. He's got all the resources. Doesn't need anything else. He's got it. He's done. He's won. Anyway, we are going to head on back uh, to the spawn. We're going to take this nice, beautiful path. And you may notice that was a little jarring. I apologize. But uh, I just kind of wanted to see what this place would look like in shaders. And it looks gorgeous in my opinion it looks really nice i love this building it's just so i don't know why it has a nice little charm to it it's really cool i love the flowers and the path and the cake looks nice i think it's really really cool that is the coolest fireball i've ever seen in my life That was so cool. I love it. I love the Optifine thing. That's so epic. I love these shaders. As a little side note, I really do love these shaders. Like, look at this. This is the Nether. The Nether does not look this awesome in normal shaders. This is Eddie's official, like, version 3 Ultra shaders. This is beautiful. I can even show you right here. Yeah, right here. There it is. Eddie's official version 3 Ultra. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful.
Oh, I love it so much. But arguably the best view on the entire server is probably right here. This is... This is pretty good. This is a pretty good spot. I, I kind of like this place. It's a nice, it's a nice little base. And I think uh, it's one of my favorite things I've built in Minecraft. It really is. I love this jungle. I do love the survival mountain jungle, but to every single time you build one of these, it's a little bit different. And I think that is amazing. It's super, super cool. And we are going to build one last thing before we end this episode. Holy crap, I've been recording for so long. I recorded for like 45 minutes. Are you kidding me? No, that's got to be it, beautiful people. That has got to be it for today. I apologize, but that means we are going to get started with a good episode uh, next time. Actually, you know what we'll do? We will do, we will do one last thing here. Awesome. Now we've got some good enchants. We've got some good boots waiting for us right there. That is very good. And that is, we deserve a cookie. We deserve a cookie. That is fantastic. I love it. And I put mending, uh, those mending books on our axe and our pickaxe. That's fortune three, which is always good to have mending on. And this is silk touch uh, efficiency unbreaking because I do, if you can't tell, I chop down a lot of trees off camera. Oh. It's the worst feeling in the world, man, I tell you. Uh, I chopped down a lot of trees off camera, and so uh, I, I definitely need mending here, which, if we'll take a look, we'll put into use right now. We'll come up here, and we will repair our axe a little bit. And you know what? We began this episode by killing these guys, and we're going to end this episode by giving them a little love, giving them a little bit of babies, and ending on a happy note. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Thank you, guys so much as always for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful minecraft morning i will catch up with you guys later and as always stay beautiful <laughs>